Cheers. Long shot. You wearing Rithik's underwear? I'm not wearing underwear. Namaste, I'm Kafir Shashwagate, who made our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. Mira Nam Rick, hey. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Do you see Tom? It's so cheesy. Shame. Follow us on our own personal YouTube channels. Links right down there for you. And... Coronavirus! Today! What are we doing, right? We're gonna smoke a cigar and get some underwear for you. We're gonna do a movie review. Uh, and today's movie, we're we're watching movies like they're like going out of style. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start catching up and watch everything India releases just like that, like hotcakes. We're gonna spit them out every movie that comes out. I know we can't do that. It's like two thousand. I don't want to do that either. They're not all good. That's true. <laughs> Just like not all stuff in Hollywood is good. That's true. Actually, a lot of stuff is terrible here. It's true. Anyways, but today we're uh, uh, reviewing the Hindi film Kapoor and Sons. Uh, I believe it's a 2016 film. It's a... It says comedy drama romance. I think it's a family drama romance dramedy. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it fits that. With it definitely emphasis on the family drama. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, I think like Badai Ho, but I, I think Badai Ho was going for more humor than this I think one you're... was going for. This one was yeah. a legit drama. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, directed by, say his name for me, Rick? Excuse me. <coughs> I'm still clearing my throat. Directed by uh, Shakun Batra, who uh, also was the primary writer. Writer of it. I think he correct. might have produced as well. Uh, and we saw this trailer how long ago? A long time ago. You're like... 14 months ago, probably. <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was, it was, I mean, right after Gully Boy. Yeah. That we were recommended and, this. And I, outside <laughs> of Alia, um, I think most of these are new introductions for Except us. Except for Rishi Kapoor. Well, no, we've never seen a film of his, though. Oh, yeah, no, but we've known him. Yeah, we, is we know for who he is, but. A long time. Uh, I think we might have seen the dad in something, but it was like a, probably like a, a background role. Or if we have seen the other folks besides Alia, it would be we've forgotten and yeah. you're reminding us now <laughs> as you watch this. Anyways, uh, just to let you know, it's 100% spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, I'm, I think a lot of you already have. Yeah. It's a very popular film. <laughs> but if you don't want to be spoiled. If you don't want to be spoiled. Go watch it, come back, uh, and then uh, you will be spoiled like the naughty little boy or girl that you are. <laughs> it should be a sound effect. It too, I was thinking the exact same thing. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Anyways, Rick, initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. I have a, a couple of sentences. Mm -hmm. uh, a plain and simple movie that's pretty formulaic that I wish had gone backwards. I'll explain that in a second. Mm. And whose cast does the best they can with what they're given. Yeah. That's... My takeaway from it, and I have, I have particular things to say about Alia since we know her the most yeah. and have been exposed to her, but I really felt like it was, it was pretty simple. Uh, there were a couple of surprises, but for me, the, it, it tied it all up in a bow kind of a thing. And what I meant by it going backwards, yeah. I wish we had had, I wish the movie had started at the fight scene, right? When, I wish it had started at the family photo. If the movie had started right when they're taking the photo and then they get in that big fight and he goes off and gets hit by a truck and he's in the hospital, yeah. I would have been like, what the heck is going on? I did not expect that yeah. from this trailer. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, no, I I enjoyed it. Well, at the first of it, it was definitely, um, I, at the first, what, hour something? Um, you're like, okay, this is nice. You know, this is like a nice family right, it's drama. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing bad. Nothing, nothing great. Um, but obviously, the meat and potatoes of it is the last. I, I'd say thir like thirty minutes. Thirty minutes of yeah. the film. Uh, definitely, it definitely catches you like that part where it's just like thing after thing after thing after that thing is, after thing. That's like, the movie. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> it could have been a short film. I mean, you could have taken that last thirty minutes. No. Yeah, a little like during that part, it's definitely. I, I it, it's nice when a film can catch you off guard. Right, it keeps it. It keeps at, doing it. It keeps doing it. <laughs> like I think, because obviously you figure out that okay, he's gay now, right. and then now his mom's saying terrible stuff to him, and then, or right before that, you figured out the 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 dad was over at the house, but they were they weren't saying the right things to each other at that moment at no, all. At all. Uh, and then you figured out the mom. 
was the one that stole the story and gave it to the other brother. Which was a great twist. <laughs> and then to top it all off, they just killed the dad. <laughs> Who you didn't think was going to die. I was waiting for Rishi Kapoor's character to be yeah. the one to die. And thought, everyone, right. You thought that was going to be. So I, right. obviously uh, the, the beginning, which I, I don't want to say it was boring, but it was just, it was like, okay. this is. I agree. Nice. It was fine. Yeah. And that's what I meant by the actors did the best with what they had. I felt like everybody was believable. It, it was definitely more not plot driven. It was the, 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 relationship driven for sure completely there wasn't obviously a lot of plot going on N none outside and so and that was probably see the point it was this is this family's drama right Kapoor and his son's drama and they have a ton of it and i would say <laughs> I, my favorite thing mm. about the film yeah is both the character and the portrayal by rishi kapoor oh he did phenomenal we'll talk about him. that that's that's my absolute favorite part yeah, of the yeah, film yeah. if someone said to me hey i want to watch this would you watch it with me yeah yeah the only reason I want to rewatch it mm. is so that I could enjoy watching that character and oh. his portrayal. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I would, Not that I dislike the rest, but the rest of it was kind of like, this is one okay, I could, I could take it or leave like, it. This is one I, like, you could sit and have on just to have on. Like, if it's on TV, I'd probably stop and be like, okay. If there was nothing else on. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to go out of my no. way, but if it's on, I'm like, oh, cool. But like, com uh, com what I was thinking of when I was watching it, because yeah. um, it falls for me in the same... Genre category, I guess, is like Deborah. Yeah. But I, I would much if those two were on, I'd be in a heartbeat. I'd be watching Deborah. Uh, it depends on what point in the movie it is, I guess. Yeah, no, for me, I, I would. And then, then there's, I mean, if English English is on, all yeah. bets are off. Forget it. Uh, so, but yeah, so like I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. I'm not. It's not like obviously the best movie ever, for sure. Oh my. Uh, but I don't. Sorry, it's, it's yeah. not gonna. It's a, was it trying to be? No. This is definitely it, it set out. It was. This is a family drama. And it let you know that at the beginning, just like Badai Ho, man, the way Indian families argue and communicate, yeah, <laughs> it's just sometimes it's it's like it's because it's so different. And here, here's the I will here's the uh, accolade I would give it as far as I believe there is absolutely I, I don't believe I know you'll agree there is an audience who there are many people I wish the whole world loved cinema that were cinephiles and loved the art form. Sadly, there are people who just don't. They will never care enough to want to know all the dimensions of the art form and the higher level artistry of it. Mm -hmm. And they just like to see a movie every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is the audience that I think would most appreciate this film as an audience that doesn't necessarily want to see something that's gonna be artistically driven and have a great message. They're just gonna enjoy themselves, see some believable characters, enjoy some twists and walk out with a smile. Yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah, and that's, uh, that's what I, I went into this expecting, and that's basically what I got. Yeah, uh, was the fact that I, I knew it was going to be a, 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 I didn't know it was going to be like that simple of a, just that plot. The, the, Me too. The, the, just the, the relationship between them. Yeah, but I, that's basically what I was going and expecting. Okay, it's going to be a family drama, but then it, it turned into um, a really enjoyable film. That's obviously the end. I was glued to the screen. I <laughs> wanted that during, to be the start during of the film. basically that point. Oh, yeah. Me and my wife both watched it. Like when. We got a gas when the truck hit him. Me like, too. We got, Me too. Because I was like, oh shit! <laughs> I totally didn't see just that coming. did that! Yeah. Uh, so that, I, I, I literally, I was sitting there, I was kind of, I was kind of bored, although I loved the fight. I'm like, okay, we're starting to get into some nitty gritty. We're getting to the end here. And I'm watching him and the thing hits him and I went, okay! <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I, I, did, I did not expect that to happen. Uh, and obviously, we kind of gasped as well when you found out the mom was the one that stole the novel. Yeah. From the, because obviously, not the parents of the year for sure. These two. No. <laughs> these two parents. Yeah. Like, they're they're basically the problem. Yeah. This entire family. With the freak. The grandfather's great. The kids are great. They're they're, the they're, they're they're fine. You know. He, uh, that's 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 the way. When you're he's supposed to be ninety. You, that is exactly how I want to be when I'm 90. I want to be like that guy. Yeah, the, but the, the the two parents are the ones with all the issues. Yeah. Because obviously he's the one having the affair. She's the one that took the novel from him. They have clearly have a favorite child, which is terrible. Mm. Um, and the only other uh, little... Uh, and then obviously the mom was like all saying terrible things when he came out as being gay. And so it's like... The, out, the parents, actually, the actors who did them, phenomenal job. Great job. I, I totally believed them. I, I felt like, like they're yeah. just assholes. <laughs> yeah, I felt everybody was solid. Yeah. Um, um, Rishi Kapoor for me was the same. Yeah, we can talk about Rishi. Let's yeah. talk about Rishi. This is our first introduction to his acting in a film. And now we know it's actually one of his later yeah. roles, and not the stuff he's famous for in, back in the day. I thought he did phenomenal. I did too. I loved and, his character. And 
while the makeup wasn't, um, you know, Oscar level believability, no. it wasn't, it, it was still solid enough that it didn't distract me. Yeah, his performance definitely made up for it. And the thing I love, like most good actors in situations like this, is they're not playing the makeup. Yeah. They've already, they've created a character that you would have seen whether or not you had the makeup there. But it does help because he was, he was supposed to be playing a 90-year-old man. They had to do makeup yeah. on him. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't even think of anybody unless they got an actual 90-year-old person. But why wouldn't you get Rishi Kapoor if you could do that and put makeup on him? Yeah. And I just, I thought he was the, my my favorite character as far as the writing of him, mm -hmm. as well as the way he portrayed him. I loved his little message to the boys at the end that they watched. Mm -hmm. And I just, I thought he was, yeah, he, he did a great he job was at great. That, that little thing. Really, really the, good. The entire film, obviously, you were always just rooting for this <laughs> old perv. <Yeah. laughs> he was hilarious. He, like, I totally, 100% believed him. Every yes. single time he was, he was cool. You always want to have a grandpa like that. Heck yeah, um, you do. My grandma is like that. Yeah. My grandma, Betty Boop, is 92. Is that and her actual name or do you just call her that? No, we call her that because since she was a little girl, Betty Boop has been her favorite cartoon character. So her nickname's been Betty Boop. Her real name is Eleanor. Gotcha. But she goes by Betty Boop. She's 92. She is fiery. She's feisty. <laughs> she does stuff on her own. Uh, she, If she has to go up the stairs, she's got her little thing that she sits in and it takes her up the stairs. We've joked about when she hit 90, when she, we would just push her off a thing and... We were laughed. We were joking one day about her dying, mm -hmm. and she was sitting there listening to us laugh, and we're joking for like ten minutes. Mm -hmm. And she's just sitting there. And at one point, she says, "Go ahead and laugh. I'll haunt." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> gotta love that. Yeah. Yeah. So Rishi was obviously he was phenomenal. Before we move on, just let us know what his next thing that we should watch of his. Really want to watch. Because I thought, his, uh, his especially the, the end little Skype thing he did, I yeah. thought he was flawless in it. He was. And you knew, you thought the entire time, obviously, they were never actually going to get their picture. You knew that. Yeah. That was one of the things you knew. But I, you thought that you were, Rishi was going to be the one who dies before right. he gets the picture. Which is wonderful that they didn't go that direction. They surprised you as the audience, and it was the freaking dad who got hit by a truck. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which was, once again... Phenomenal. Loved it. Uh, <laughs> I thought Alia did a, a good job. Obviously, you could see her growth definitely from this to uh, to, yeah. even, to even Gully Boy. And obviously, with Gully Boy, she had a lot more to work with. But I thought she gave her, her, her great. She always reminds me of uh, a more fiery Emma Stone. Um, usually, always who. I think, Interesting. I think, well, yeah. they would play comparable roles. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but you know, I've uh, the utmost respect for Emma Stone. I think she's one of the phenomenal. She's shown that fieriness in, in Birdman and in um, Lala. Uh, she had a little bit. bit yeah, um, more Zom in Birdman. Zombieland. Yeah, she more in Zombieland. Well. More for sure in, in uh, the one scene she's got yeah. with Michael Keaton where they're fighting. Is she has great. that quirkiness that you love about her. Um, and so in, in this role, I thought she did as well as she could have. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it wasn't a very, um, yeah. her character was interesting, but there really wasn't enough written into it. And I was watching her really closely on her story about her parents. And you can, what, again, it's a diamond in the rough mm -hmm. in this. What I, what I could see was what we know about her, her inclinations, uh, her natural instincts that come from a love of wanting to do movies since she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. And it, it just, it shows. She's very natural and comfortable on camera, but... There was stuff that was very obvious that she's very green. Mm. She still had a long way to go. Nothing remotely close to what we saw in how much I, we, I enjoyed her in, in Rosie. Mm, you know, that, that that was far more nuanced portrayal. Oh, yeah. And she's, she had she's grown. A, and she, she's, she's, but she's she, also she's, a supporting character. She this. has yet to do her best work. Yeah. I mean, we're going to see the best of her stuff in the years to come. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the, the two brothers I thought did well. I, they were probably the weakest of the bunch. In, in my opinion, but um, they weren't bad. Yeah, they weren't bad. They were believable, um, but they they were just they were probably the weakest. Of, but I also don't know them as well, um, so I, I this is the first I'm ever hearing or seeing of both of them, unless they've been in some trailers that we were on. Yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. But yeah, I thought they were fine. Um, but the, the two parents I thought did really really well. They did uh, for being asshole parents. <laughs> I love. I, I love fine. I loved the stories that they gave them though, because it was a very complicated uh, situation. You can mm -hmm. say towards the end, because <laughs> you were trying to figure. Okay, okay. So the, the, who he invited her one, which was stupid. Because <laughs> apparently, obviously, the family knows that 
she had an affair, right? <laughs> or he had an affair. And then she brought him, and then the, the wife, Justly, is very upset by that. And then he says some dumbass shit. <laughs> but that makes for a great uh, family drama. You know, so you gotta... <laughs> it's one of those things, That's a conflict. especially towards the, the last 30 minutes, you're basically glued to figure out, like, all the terrible things these two parents have done. <laughs> yeah. Like, if they... like. I think this family probably wouldn't have any issues if these two parents were not who they were. Well, the only <laughs> the only issue they would have is the the fear the son has of letting them all know that he's gay. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the issue they'd have, which you know would would not the way you're supposed to react when your son says he's gay. No, or the brother. He's like, I'm gay. He's like, I don't know what to say. My yeah. thought was, yeah. Okay, why don't you start by telling him you love him so that you can let him off the hook of his fear that you're going to judge him. His his being mad at his brother for kissing Alia was, I, I think, the dumbest thing. One, so dumb. y'all weren't dating at the time. It, it was, Two, you didn't even know that each other liked him. Sincerely. Three, <laughs> like, three, you've been dating, like, when you did find out, you've been dating, like, a day. <laughs> and that was where I, I the, just the writing of it was just, it was, it was somewhat formulaic, and it was, it really wasn't mature in its growth. The bottom line for me is if you're a cinema lover and you're a film lover, this isn't your cup of tea. If, if you like having a movie that you're going to watch and pop some popcorn and may, you, you don't mind formulaic movies like the group I was saying earlier, you would, you would enjoy it. But I, there, I can think of a hundred films I would watch uh, again. Uh, like Hello Row. I just watched that one a second time. <laughs> you're uh, not going to compare this to Hello Row. There's a, like I said, there's a hundred films I would watch again uh, before I would watch this. We watched Hell Room before this. I think we set a brick with uh, some unrealistic expectations. No, 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 no. Do not <laughs> make the mistake of thinking that I'm trying to make a comparison between this and well, that. Well, you just did, Rick. They're motion pictures, so they have a similarity in the fact that they both were made to go onto a screen. Can I compare these two? You can. They're both movies. No, that's like comparing Avengers to Birdman. They're both movies. You can't compare them. I can if I want to. They're both movies. You're dumb. No, I'm not. They're both movies. Anyways, that's the review. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say, I was grateful that the guitar playing looked real. It might have been. I don't know. All that matters is it was believable. When did he play guitar? Can you remember? When they were all sitting around. At the house, they were all kind of like hanging out and playing together. And oh, they just okay. started to sing a song together. Yeah, and he was right. playing the guitar. That's right. Yeah. Oh, also the music was good. I yeah. enjoyed them. Yeah, I enjoyed the music. The music was fun. It was. A little, it was. It was, it was a, a party number was fun when he yeah. first gets to the party with Alia and they have yeah. a bathroom scene. That was fun. A lot of joint yeah. smoking in this film. But uh, woo, we should get some joints, Rick. Oh wait, you're old. Your joints are bad. <laughs> old people. <laughs>